Well, Danny, we claim a point here at Ashton Athletic, but how much does it feel like a loss tonight? Massively. Obviously, the manner of their equaliser, the nature of how the game was going. Um, we, we should be putting those teams to bed. We really should. Um, so, absolutely devastated, to say the least, in terms of, you know, we should be beating them. And that's be all and end all, really, isn't it? I guess the first thing to ask about is the late withdrawal of Tom Clare from the start in 11. Yeah, he just he's turned up today and he's had a tight Achilles. Um, give it a go in the warm up, and he's just said it's not right. So that's fair enough. Um, had to make a change. Not a, a great deal to comment on in the first half, really, was it? it was pretty fat, flat from both sides. Yeah, it was. It was unfortunately. I mean, we did create a few half chances, got in some really good positions. Uh, it was just the final ball or the decision making in the final third was was lacking, which we spoke about at half time, and just put a real big emphasis on the tempo making it really high because I think if we if we kept it really really high they would have run out of uh, run out of steam um, but you know it just won't want to be at the end of the day. To what extent do you think the game hinged on the sending off because it definitely gave us a boost in, in terms of possession and territory? Yeah well it, it can go one way or the other can't it when uh, you're, you're playing against 10 men I mean they've got a, got nothing to lose to a certain degree because they're down to 10 men um, but then you know Football being football, if you don't put your chances away, then you know it can always come back to bite you. It was a well-worked goal from us, wasn't it? And at that stage, I guess you just wanted us to push on for a second and a third, possibly. Well, that's what exactly what we said at half time. We said, look, if you you know you really get after these, you get a goal, you will then you know be able to push on and create two, three, four, which, which should naturally have happened. But we just didn't do that. We just seemed to sit back, and you know whether we thought the job was done um, in terms of why we won the look against ten men. Then you know, it's just that that lazy laziness, I think. Within ten seconds of Keelan Adams being denied on the goal line, Ashton had equalised. Of course, it's funny how things happen at times, isn't it? Isn't it? But how much did that frustrate you that it could go from one end, a certain goal which wasn't, to the other end, and it's in the bit in the back of the net? Yeah, it's literally from one extreme to the other. Really, we should be scoring at one end, one long ball down down our end, and you know we're in a bit of trouble. You know, lazy defending, as I call it. it was, Lazy attacking play because we should have scored. There's no doubt about that. Should be 2 0 up and that's game over. But then on the flip side of it, we should be, you know, wise enough in the knowledge to, you know, shut the back door and, and just be more resolute, really. I have to watch it back because, you know, I'm not sure what, what went on to a you know, certain extent, but, you know, it shouldn't be happening. That's the be all and end all, and it? it should not happen at all. As a management team, how do you begin to address things like? laziness as you've said, lapses in concentration, is it something you can necessarily work on or do you have to just trust your players? Well you've got to trust your players at the end of the day, as soon as they walk over that white line it's, it's, it's them isn't it, they, they make the majority of the decisions, you can shout on and help them but sometimes you know you, you're just helpless and it's, it's about every, every player taking accountability for their own performance and I'm a big believer in coming off that pitch with no regrets. You come off that pitch with no regrets, you can look every member of staff and every teammate in the eye saying, I've given it everything today. And at the end of the day, if you've not got the result you want, then you know you can't grumble with that. We move on, of course. Um, our first ever FA Bar size at Winston next Saturday. Definitely be looking for another reaction now, won't you? Well, that's what football's all about. Even if you win, if you win a game of football, you've still got to react the next week and then go and back it up. Uh, we've not backed it up today after the, you know, the two great results last week. Um, but it's about the, the players going away now reflecting and I just hope it hurts them as much as it hurts us um, because you know I'm not going to sleep tonight because that should be three points three points in the in the bag and we move on to the, the cup next week so it's just massively disappointing thanks Danny thank you